Okay, and welcome back everybody. This is part two of our video series um, for the Information Nights 2014 for Year 5. And uh, we're about to talk about English, which obviously is a massive topic. And uh, it's probably um, even more interesting this year because we're starting to use the new national curriculum, which I'm sure you've all uh, heard a lot about um, through the media. Um, we're very excited actually about this national curriculum. Um, the focus, um, one of the big focuses of, of the national curriculum is quality literature. And uh, so we are, we've got a, a great range of literature that we're going to go through with the students and, and, uh, and read together with them uh, and help them to understand. We're starting off in, um, uh, in term one with, uh, we've already started reading uh, the book My Place, which might be familiar to you uh, by Nadia Wheatley, which is a very rich uh, and interesting text. And uh, we're going to be comparing that with uh, the digital website for My Place and uh, another great Australian book called uh, Window, which is um, by Jeannie Baker. And uh, that's going to be our main focus uh, for reading this term. And then as we move through the year, we're going to be looking at uh, some other um, uh, excellent literature. We've got a Bartlett and the Ice Voyage, which is a, uh, a novel by another Australian author, Odo Hirsch, um, which we're going to use some drama to explore. And then um, we're looking at uh, sustainability in Term 3. We're looking at a, a text um, about Macquarie Island, uh, which has uh, got lots of fantastic illustrations and, uh, and information about um, the environment there. And then in Term 4, we're looking at um, The Peasant Prince, so some really quality lit literature as we go through. And we've also introduced um, this year um, uh, something called reciprocal teaching, which is a model that um, where the students basically um, get into groups and they discuss um, with each other what they've been reading and they pull it apart and, uh, and ask lots of questions of each other and, uh, and learn through, through discussion and through some, some reading. And we are... As uh, Mr. Burns and I and uh, the other support teachers are going to be there um, guiding them and helping them through that process. Um, but if they come home and tell you about the reciprocal teaching, mm. um, that's what they're talking about, that mm. group, um, group teaching model, mm. which is very exciting. Um, now, as it says uh, here on the slides, we've, we've done some diagnostic testing. So we, we, do, um, we do understand uh, where your student is at um, in terms of their reading, spelling, writing abilities. Um, and uh, we're going to be um, differentiating our teaching uh, to meet the needs of all of those students. Uh, our spelling program, as you're probably aware, follows the uh, Soundwaves text. And, uh, and that forms uh, a large part of the homework component. And uh, we'll, we'll be supporting uh, with activities and things, other things that we're doing in class. Um, but a, a large uh, portion of that will be done at home for homework during the week, uh, as well as the importance of learning spelling, um, the spelling words. Um, we're going to be, there'll be at least 10 words to learn each week for each student at their uh, particular ability level. Uh, in terms of, uh, we've talked about reading, in terms of writing, uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be looking at a whole range of texts, um, this term, in particular, our focus will be on persuasive texts uh, and also a, a, a smaller focus on narrative writing, um, which we'll be uh, doing during our wed time, which is writing every day. And so plenty of writing, both, as we mentioned before, handwriting, but also um, using computer software um, to write and construct texts. And a range of nonfiction and fiction texts is what the students will be, uh, be asked to write this year. Uh, now, library uh, is changing a little bit this year. We've got um, Mrs. Ms. Chisholm and Mrs. Tasker are going to be taking the students for 40 minutes, and 20 minutes of that time will be uh, borrowing, uh, and then 20 minutes will be spent um, looking at it. There'll be a literature focus, or there'll be also perhaps time to work on projects um, and research in the library, and Mrs. Tasker will be helping with that as well. And uh, I think I've already mentioned homework. Uh, we'll mainly be spelling and sound waves for English. Yes, and the sentences as well. 
Ah, yes, indeed. And uh, obviously, uh, the meanings of those spelling words are important, so we're getting them to write definitions or sentences with those words in them. Yeah, great. All right, uh, moving on to the mathematics. Uh, look, we've spent a lot of time doing some diagnostic assessments of your students, uh, of your children, our students. Uh, very vigorous and rigorous testing. Now, we do that in order to ascertain what they know and what they don't know. We're very big on not teaching them things they already know here. We're very big on not wasting uh, your children's time. We're very keen to make the best use of their time, so the rigorous testing allows us to identify the specific weaknesses they have, and then we will target our teaching to that. We're trying to fill in the gaps as such. Of course, if they're strong across the board, then we can just start to extend them, which is what we do. And we actually use the videos to help us to do this. Uh, there's all your basic strands. Uh, there, your number, your patterns in the algebra. I won't read them all. Please look at them all. There they are, all are uh, for you to look at. And we'll be covering all of that uh, this year. This year we're going to have a particularly heavy focus on problem solving and that will run across all the strands there. And for each uh, strand, whether it be number or patterns or algebra, uh, we will start off with a problem. And we'll look at how we have to take this problem apart and we'll see that we have to use multiplication or subtraction or crack the algebra. And, and by doing that, we really hope to put the maths in a real world uh, context. Uh, the maths homework will largely uh, be the mathematics and that will focus on a number. And I would suggest that we wrap up that here and mm. we go to video number three. Thanks for listening, guys.